You know how grandpas get that shiny gym, that that grandpa whistle. <laughs> he he doesn't sound he doesn't sound southern at all, but he has the whistle. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to a new installment of Natural Light Vibes in the Upstairs Realm, graced by the legends of rock behind us. We also are blessed with Subway today, super jazzed about, got some dips and some chips, and then a dog off to the side that is going to be begging very soon. But uh, until then, we must do one thing more, and that is pour. Got the doctor pee today. So we will pour this up and then I will unravel the mystery and get everything set up for you guys and myself. And we're going to enjoy it in this natural light. I love natural light videos. I just, I love how the food looks in them. It's just amazing. There's nothing better than a natural light video. If I had it my way, I would definitely have my full time set up like in front of a window. Maybe one day in the future. There she is. Full beautiful pour. Ever delicious. Okay, let's get this beast out. You guys already know <clears throat> what I'm working with. It's the Italian BMT, of course. Has to be. It's the only way. And uh, I got it double meated. So she's looking crazy. Whoa, Nelly. Yes, 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 yes. Looking so good. I gotta get some of these chips out. So most of these chips are bottom feeders. I I bought them the other night. I couldn't resist. I tapped into them and now I'm left with kind of the sketchy ones, but it is what it is. So recently a subscriber commented that I was due in for an Italian BMT Subway Mukbang and I couldn't agree more. That was a very accurate statement. I've been fantasizing about eating this right here for about, I would say two weeks now. And I'm ready to fulfill this fantasy. Mm -mm. It's way too good. So ham, salami, pepperoni, doubled up. And then my toppings as per usual, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, green pepper, red onion, banana peppers, ranch, chipotle, and this time I got sweet onion sauce. I usually get house sauce, but I thought I'd switch it up with sweet onion today. And let me tell you, it's the better choice. <clears throat> I will be doing that from now on. Also, my sister made this dip. It's just like a very creamy bacon, cheese, and green onions. I think it's cream, sour cream and cream cheese. And it's stupid good. But I am going to put some on here just to see Look how fresh, you know what I mean? Mm. I did forget to make mention of the bun, herb and cheese. Italian herb and cheese. The only bread I get at Subway pretty much. Sometimes if I get a tuna sub, I will get a it on brown.
There's, of course, cheese on here as well. I know somebody's probably tri tripping, being like, no cheese? There's cheese. Into the middle, into the guts. You guys ever do this? Start eating it like typewriter style? Down this way. It's legit such a sub, sub hack. It makes it so much easier. I promise you. Oh, I promise you. This is a hoodie home blend <clears throat> at ranch, hot sauce, and barbecue. And it is too good. What a meal. I swear, man. When Subway hits, it hits like Mike Tyson. This is Tyson's status. It is doing the most. So because I was uh, anticipating doing this video today, Last night in bed, I was, of course, hitting some fantasy meal videos, getting me prepped for today. So I <clears throat> typed in the old YouTube. I typed in uh, Subway ASMR eating or whatever. And... I found this dude, and this, this new guy, I have never seen him before. Not Morpheus, but ASMR Grandpa. And he's a 68 year old dude named Trip. Trip, sick name. What a trip to see a grandpa eating Subway. So I watched it. I gotta tell you, this is my grandpa. He has a natural <clears throat> knack for like his ASMR voice. It's the way that he speaks. You know how grandpa's Get that shiny gym, that that grandpa whistle. <laughs> he he doesn't sound he doesn't sound southern at all, but he has the whistle. And he's pretty soft spoken.
I wasn't expecting like to actually get relaxed, but he had me kind of relaxed and then craving the sub, of course. Although his was turkey. That didn't stop me from going on a further rabbit hole of way more subway videos though. I wanted to make mention of another YouTuber that I watch religiously. Cause I feel like in the past, in like Q and A's and stuff, this is so good. You guys have asked me like, you know, what YouTubers do you watch? And like I said in the past, I'm pretty random on YouTube. Very ADD. But there are a few people that I do religiously watch. And there's this one dude, <clears throat> his channel. I don't even understand what it is really. It's more, it's mostly comedy, but it's comedy based around food and health. And like, <clears throat> he, he used to do veganism and then he tried carnivore and then he's, he's tried all these different diets and anyways, his name is Vegetable Police. And he actually is from Toronto. And some way, somehow, this dude just to me has like, his videos are essentially about nothing a lot of the time, like completely nothing. Like such a ridiculous concept of video. Yeah, somehow, he keeps my attention throughout almost every video. He, he's just got a natural comedic element to him. And just like some of his, his editing and his music choice. Just suit the video so well. He's probably my favorite YouTuber. His name, his real name is Casey Stern. He's also 38 and looks like he's 25. Check him out. I'd be intrigued to know if any of you who watch this have watched this channel. He's such a goof. But he hates mukbangs. <laughs> Rightfully so, he eats like a bird. He's always on the search for optimal health, but it's like he can never find, he's always got some nitpick with his health. I think he's just a hypochondriac, really. Well, what can I say? The sandwich was too good. And I don't even have time for these chips. Hope you enjoyed the natural light sub crush and my random talking. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.